can't, I can't break this thing. Take it like this. I'm putting my foot on the bench. And up. Holy crap. That's, that's actually ridiculous. Or ludicrous. This is Tesla show. Ludicrous. And it's going back into the shape it was. What's up everybody? I'm Brian from I1 Tesla. A lot of you know that I got that front splitter put on my car. It's a little dirty right now, but I love that front splitter. With it sticking out a little bit, you do have to watch what you run into or watch you, what kind of angles you go up into a driveway or crossing a bridge like I did. I scraped it. Just a little bit. I'll show you the damage if there is any. I have still haven't climbed underneath it. It was a slight scrape when we were up in the Blue Ridge Mountains. There was a bridge that we went over and it kind of just went up a little bit. I couldn't avoid it. I went slow. So we're going to take a look at the damage if there is any and I'll show you how to protect it. Some of you might know that I put this product on the, on the underneath my car before to protect the bumper because I actually did scrape it on that video. This material protected it. That product was called Slip Low and what that is, it's a protective layer that gets on underneath your car and if you scrape on anything, that's going to take the abuse and you don't scratch your car. That's a great thing about that product. And I'm pointing to it over there because it's over there. <laughs> so I took that off and we're going to do strength tests. We're going to see how strong this material actually is with the ones I took off the car because the adhesive is ruined on those. I have some more to put on the car to protect it. I'm not going to scrape it this time for the video. The whole point is not to scrape your bumper, but if you do, this will protect it. So this is the company Slip Low and you can see like before, it goes underneath the bumper and a really good product. You, you don't use all the product when you're putting it on your Tesla. I was left with these pieces and we're gonna use some of these, but this is what I took off of the car. It is a great product, really good adhesive. And you can see as I, when I pulled it off the car, it destroys the adhesive, but it's, it's on there really good. In the last video I did, I scraped the bumper on purpose and you can see I, sc I scraped pretty hard on this piece. And that's all the damage there was. Now this, now without this product, I would have scraped all the way through the paint into the plastic of the bumper, and it would have been a really bad eyesore. But you can also see in here how much foam is actually in this is the adhesive, so you have a lot of give, so you're not going to crush anything or break anything. That's a lot better for the carbon fiber that I have on the car now. Later on, we're gonna test these to see how strong these are, because Sliplo and really Dean from um, Sticker City, he's out in California, they have a, uh, a vinyl wrap company that do a lot of great cars. He sent me out a whole box full of stuff. Let's take a look. First of all, they sent me two kits. So I have one kit and a half for my car. <laughs> I've got a half a kit left over, but I, the front splitter uses a little bit more. So I'm gonna use one kit for my car and then I'm gonna have one kit to give away. Ooh, stickers. He also sent me a knockoff version. I've taped up the logo because I don't want to uh, talk bad about another company. This is their competition, and he wanted to show me the difference. Because in the last video, a lot of people said, well, why wouldn't you just buy some, you know, buy some cheap plastic and put it underneath there? Well, that's what this is. And we're gonna compare the two. First of all, when you look at it, it is much thinner. Let me just grab a small piece. Look at the size difference here. This is hard plastic with a couple, uh, looks like plastic rivets in there. The amount of adhesive on this, and let's see how strong it is. The amount of adhesive, and that's not very strong adhesive at all. I would be afraid that this would slide right off if you did run over a curb. But we're gonna test this, how strong this actually is versus how strong this actually is. So we're gonna try another strength test here. I've got the knockoff version clamped to a table. I'm gonna pull on this side. Let me put some gloves on, cause this thing is kind of sharp. This kind of hurts, the other one doesn't. It's nice and softer. And hopefully it doesn't pull my bench out. I'm gonna put my foot on the bench here and see if we can break it. Oh gosh, that didn't take much. Oh gosh. <laughs> that didn't take much of my weight to break this. Permission to make a fat joke? Granted. Now, is this gonna happen in the car? Probably not. But let's see the difference. Now, this is the one I took off the car already. We had to cut that, remember, for the stock Model 3. And let's pull on this one. Oh, look how much that flexes. Oh my God. Holy crap. I can't, I can't break this thing. Oh, 
that's not breaking. Let me uh, set the camera up so you can see how much I'm actually pulling, how hard. All right, don't mind the mess here. I'm cleaning everything, I'm selling everything in the shop. But take a look at this. I'm putting my foot on the bench. And up. <laughs> holy crap. Now that's pretty good. That's very good. That's, that's actually ridiculous. Or ludicrous. This is Tesla show. Ludicrous. That's ludicrous. And it's going back into the shape it was. By far, hands down, the Sliplo product is way better in my opinion than this. This didn't take much pressure at all to snap in half when you can go bungee jumping off of this thing. Wouldn't recommend it. Don't try that. Now we need to put it on the car. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, put, I'm going to jack this thing up, take you underneath the car, and show you where the scratch is, if there's a scratch, and then show you what I'm going to do to put on the new material. There's a link down below that will take you to Slip Low to order a DIY kit. Well, not this crap. The DIY kit, and it's even cheaper than before. But also, if you use my code IWONTESLA15, you get 15% off plus free shipping. Very good deal for this stuff. Got the car safely jacked up, and let me show you the damage. Still haven't looked yet. This is the damage right here. Light scraping. And again, this was from the bridge. So we're going to put a layer of slip low here, all the way around the front edge. Far enough back so I don't see it from standing up and seeing from down, but it's big enough where it will take the abuse from the front unless I run directly into something. Um, but it will scrape right over top of everything if I put it back just a little bit and that would not have happened. Luckily this front splitter is a very strong hand-built carbon fiber piece and it was able to take the damage without cracking or anything. Um, there's no cracking noises. Uh, really good product. I just did a video on this not that long ago, so I'll have a link to this one as well down down below. But we're going to protect this. We're going to clean this up with some alcohol and put on the slip low product and stop that from happening again. So just a refresher course. In the kit you get well instructions, but I'm showing you how to do that. You also get vinyl stickers that match what these look like. So you get to see exactly what it is. So if you have a weird tricky turn that you want to make or you have to cut an area, you can first map it out with the vinyl templates and then put it on here and cut it out. These can be cut with heavy duty scissors. I used a bandsaw. Uh, you can use a lot of different things to cut these. Inside you also get adhesive promoters. This will increase the how strong the glue adheres to your bumper. You get two, ta two uh, plates there and also you get you get all the slip low products as well. There's a lot of pieces here in the DIY kit. Plenty to do multiple cars. When I did the stock bumper on the Model 3, I had plenty to do two of them because I have a lot left over. And that's what I'm going to use on this first. I might give the rest of it to a friend here locally. And I have one more kit to give away to one of you. And since we don't have to wait till the end, I'm just putting the product on. Now, if you'd like to win the product, leave a positive comment down below. Something nice about the channel, something nice about someone that has helped you on the, in the Tesla community. Something positive and uplifting, because that's what I try to do. I try to spread positivity, and I know a lot of you do too. I'll pick one winner and ship it out to you, and that'll be it. But I'm gonna install this, and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Some strong chemicals. So now it's just a matter of peel and stick. There. All right, it might be hard to see, but I have put the product all along the front lip. I doubled up the center section here, so figuring if I'm going to hit anything like I did here. It could scrape along both sides and it's pretty thick back here so I just put two pieces here. Same thing on the side over here. This was a big area so I put a small section here. I just cut one in half. From in front of it you can't see it. You can't see any part of it. You don't know it's there and I still have all these left over. So exciting stuff, exciting product. Again if you want to get this for yourself it's just over 100 bucks now. Huge discount. Use my code. Use the link down below and at checkout you can use I want Tesla 15. That'll get you, get you the 15% off and free shipping for this product. It saves your bumper, saves you paint work, especially if you have a front lip like this, especially if you have kids or someone driving your car that you don't want them to damage it. And keep that front bumper looking great.
There's a link down below for all, all the products I use. As always, subscribe to my channel. Stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to protect your tip. I mean, the, the, the bumper, the tip of the bumper. Did I do that joke already? I probably did. Anyway, see ya.